Hey guys, it's Jesse here. We are starting another episode with the Harley build, and we're painting today. So I've done a lot of prep work already. We've got some taping, we've got some uh, sanding. I've already actually got one, the tail, the fender, it's already primed, and uh, we're sitting here waiting for it right now to get cured so it's uh, hard enough so I can sand it. Once that's sanded then we can start going into base coats and then throw the clear on top of that. So what we're doing, and I think I mentioned it in an earlier video, is we were talking about putting a red with blue accents I believe is what I said. I put two different blues on here and I taped it up and just to see what it would look like with a red. Um, didn't paint the whole thing, just painted the top just to give me a, a refer reference as I went to buy paint. And I turned out not really liking this that much at all. So what happened was I decided to go with a completely different color and call it good. We're going to go with a red and gold, um, red main color and then gold accents. Okay guys, now we've moved. This is in my backyard. We are just going to do it outside, really. Here's the tank. As you can see, it's really dull. It's because I've sanded it down with a nice 400 grit and got it ready for paint. Once we're done with the gold, we're gonna tape up where we want the gold and then we can spray the red over the top of that. Once that red is on there, then we can pull all the tape off and then we can spray our clear over the top of that. That's what gives it the shine. We will catch back up with this project whenever I'm actually ready to paint here in a little bit. For me, it's gonna be about an hour, but for you guys, with the magic of editing, it'll be right now. And we're back. As you can see here, there's a spot that goes down. The original color of this bike was actually red, um, which is really cool. There was a nick here on the top and then on the side. And I really thought about just going, because I wanted to spray tonight, and I thought that if I was going to take those out, I thought it was going to go down to metal. And I was like, man, I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to spray. But I was able to keep it off of the metal and just go through like a layer of paint and then I took sandpaper, like a nice fine uh, 320 sandpaper and decided to sand that down and got it nice and smooth. It feels almost perfect. I am super happy with the way that it turned out and it's ready for paint tonight. So, so first off, I'm just going to go through with the gold paint. So guys, it is obviously the next day. We were painting into the night and it started getting dark and hard to see. So I decided to wait till this morning, let these dry and then uh, tape them up. There are a couple little places on this base coat that I sanded back down because um, it didn't lay right and I had some settings wrong in the gun. So good thing that the places that are getting outlined were not on those places that needed sand. So we were good. Um, as you can see, I got some nice interesting designs over here on the tank. I really like this gold. Um, it has so much flake in it and it just looks good. You guys will see the finished product after this. I'm gonna do that coat of red and then we're gonna put our clear coats over it and I'm excited. This thing's gonna look real good and I think it's just gonna pop and really make this bike look that good. So without further ado for you guys, um, the magic of editing it will be right now there it is we're all done this was really a fun project now it's not perfect by any means it's not perfect but I'm really really happy with the way it turned out now as you can see up here on this top right here you can't see anything except just a nice clean coat of paint and there's another mark they would have been there down here on the side and if the light hits it just right, you can see it. And you have to be at the exact angle with the sun on it to be able to see it. But both of those were big scratches that had been put in this tank. And the other day, last night, I had thought about just going ahead 
and painting it and just not worrying about those and painting over those. Super happy I decided not to and I actually put the time in to do the prep work to make it look nice and actually do it right. And that's that's one of the things. You can halfway do something and it, it's not going to turn out the way that you want it to. But if you put the little bit of time and a little bit of effort into it, it can make it happen. The funny part is, I decided, okay, fine. I'm going to just do it and I'll just wait. And the Lord blessed me to be able to have it done today. And those are just the little things that happen in life that we can just be thankful for. That The Lord's always there and He's always doing things for us. He's always blessing us. You just have to look for those things and then rejoice in them. Whenever we learn to rejoice in the little things, then it makes life so much easier and it lets us be able to put a smile on our face and it allows us just to have a lot more fun and just enjoy the world that God has given us. So, with on that note, we're going to pray and I'm going to leave you guys. We'll get to put this thing back together next time. I'm so excited to be able to see it back together all the way and we're so much closer to being done. So, we're going to pray and I'll leave you guys. So, Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. Thank you for just your blessings, even in the little things of just saving a day on our time that I got to enjoy this today, Father. And I just thank you for being here with us and giving us these beautiful days and giving us the abilities that you do, Father, that I know that I can't do all this stuff without you. And I just thank you. I thank you for being there and giving me the confidence to just be able to go out and pursue my dreams. And I pray that over the people that are watching this video. That they can just be able to feel you and they can just feel your confidence. And that you can just be around them and they can just feel your presence, Father. We just want to thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, have a good day and God bless.